We've got Peter Maguire. He's CEO of XM Australia. Uh, that's a broker that uh, deals in uh, not only in commodities, uh, but things like Forex currencies uh, and stocks as well. Uh, so he'll have a good view of uh, kind of all the other uh, financial issues that are that are contributing uh, to commodities. Peter, uh, if you would go ahead and uh, just give us your brief uh, intro, please. Well, good routine. morning and to, uh, greetings from Sydney, Australia. It's a lovely sunny afternoon here in Sydney, a long way from where everyone else is based. I, if I look back in reflection as far as 20, I thought it was um, quite an, ex we all know it was an extraordinary year, but I don't think anyone could have naturally written a script and the rebound as far as every asset price, nearly parabolic by the end of the year compared to what we experienced in March. And that trans over that nine or 10 month period was nothing short of um, incredible. So as we roll into 21, I think the very much the, the landscape is, is raw, it's unknown, and I think that there's many components that need to be considered where we sit this time next year. And I don't think 21 is going, I, I don't think it's going to be uh, a year of little geopolitical tension. I think it's going to be a lot. I also think that there's going to be some unknown unknowns coming to play uh, that uh, we're probably living through as we speak and how they are transitioned to value and as far as production and naturally the demand. So I'm looking forward to 21 from the oil industry and certainly from the commodity side. And uh, I think it's going to be a bumpy ride. But I was hoping now, Peter, that, that you'd be able to uh, kind of give us the, the, the view uh, of, of what's the context uh, in, in which we're going to be talking about all these uh, all these oil market issues, uh, particularly regarding uh, the new administration coming in uh, into the U.S. I mean, what is a Biden uh, policy going to be that's going to affect uh, th those those factors that that impact uh, oil? I mean, uh, the immediate impact that we might be looking at would be uh, sanctions or sanctions relief on either Iran or Venezuela, or the impact on supply from any environmental policies. Uh, but I also want to know how you see uh, things like the dollar uh, and this uh, kind of new year commodities spurt that we've seen kind of across the commodities complex, uh, how you see those factors playing into it as well. Well, I, I think we'll start with the last ones first, Anthony, and then we'll work backwards. I still believe that the super cycle due to the, uh, the stimulus that's been a global um, a push forward and putting it mildly has been unprecedented. And what we're going to experience over the next decade is going to be, I think, a super cycle of building, of movement, of you name it, nearly every commodity I think is going to be bid up. So from a demand picture, as far as price is concerned, um, I think the the overall where we've, we've, we've got to be mindful over the last, say, nine months, we've seen that US dollar index peak at 103, 104 nearly, now at 90, was at 89 odd last week, and it's bounced a little bit, that US dollar index. So I think it's, let's see what happens as far as the administration moving and uh, and coming into you know the latter part of next week, whether it bounces to the upside. So whilst we've seen crude prices have a big, big, big push up, we're also mindful of that US dollar capitulating. Uh, we're now seeing bond yields starting that 10 year. We're seeing, are we, are we bouncing from the bottom? It's been a commodity and been a currency trader's delight over the last six months or eight months, and including equities. So I look at the big picture. I, it's a little bit uncertain where that US dollar trades. I know higher energy prices push inflation up, which in turn creates a, a bit of a, 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 not a good picture for, uh, for central banks. And then where are we? I'm seeing the rhetoric coming out of your uh, Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, regarding Iran. That's, um, I haven't seen him as, as vocal on that for quite a long time. Uh, and whether we're going to see something happen in the last matter of days as far as this current administration. I'm also looking at the lens that I look at as North and North only, considering I live in Sydney. And that North leads me straight into China. It leads me into a Prime Minister that's just received a medal from President Trump as far as leadership. I'm looking at the situation in Taiwan, and that's really, I think, uh, 
could cause a great degree of concern to that whole sector. So that creates uncertainty again. And uh, they're the unknowns. I, I, did, I did preface when you first introduced me, I said, I think there's some unknown unknowns. And that's what, from a trading perspective, I've got to be across. I just can't be across seasonality demand or technical analysis. I've got to look at the big picture and see all those moving parts and what impact they have to markets. And I'm, I'm looking at it holistically, but I'm also challenged. I listen to Victor, I listen to Kevin, I listen to Vandana. I take all of that knowledge on board and I still believe there's a little bit of upside, but I'm not sure how much further and the, how the rest of these 50 weeks play out the, the, the book hasn't been written. Anyone or anything can happen. And uh, I think this year is going to be full of surprises. Yeah, 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 for sure. Well, uh, we have seen some surprises uh, so far this year. Uh, but I suppose if you look at it, these are kind of the, 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 the same old things that keep happening. We've seen these, these Iran tensions uh, ratcheting up. Uh, in the Gulf, uh, I suppose we can expect to see some continued additional uh, tensions uh, in in China. Uh, so I suppose, as, as you say, when you're trying to be across these issues, it's where do you expect the unknowns to come up? Is almost is almost what we can be looking for this year in this in this un unpredictability. 